in again. Welcome back to part two of the Conexpo 2017 show report. And you join us as once again we're trying to win big. Oh. Oh, well, how exciting was that? And there's more gaming going on with machines. In this one, drivers were invited to knock over pieces of wood without disturbing the balls on the cones. It's all against the clock, as is this one, where you have to use the bucket to carefully lift off the tennis balls and put them in the pail. But sadly, not everyone seemed to fully understand the rules. At the TII group stand, IMC models were represented in the merchandise store. I'm at the TII stand with Yup Hansen of IMC Models and we've got in front of us the big D-Mag fire axle crane that we saw at the toy fair. So Yup, how's this coming along? It's, um, it's at the moment it's full in production in uh, our factory in China. Uh, on the booth here at, uh, at the Con Expo we uh, flew in uh, 24 handmade samples uh, and they, they will be sold. Um, and the first release uh, on the Mammoth version and the DMAC T-Rex version will be uh, beginning of April. Okay, so that will come out in Mammoth colours. Have you got any other colours that you know about yet? Yeah, but I will not tell you. But you can't tell us. Uh, I come all this way to Las Vegas and we don't get the information we need. We get a blue one. You probably know that. Oh, a blue one. Yeah. Okay, so we can guess who has a blue crane. You can guess that. I wonder what a blue one would look like. One interesting aspect at Con Expo was the tech experience and is focused on new technology in the construction industry. One of the interesting exhibits was the world's first excavator made of printed steel. It was there on display and seemed to be working away steadily. There was also a demonstration of a machine working actually printing steel. Just imagine in the future when you'll have a printer and you'll be able to print out a 500 ton crane whenever you need one. Let's escape Las Vegas again and go to another of the national parks. Bryce Canyon is a couple of hours away and at the high point it's over 9,000 feet high. So at this time of year you're certainly not in the desert and you find all sorts of strange people trudging about in the snow. But being so high you do get some spectacular views and when you go into a national park it's always a chance to meet one of the locals. Not only that but you get the chance to see some spectacular structures. Let's now get a report from site. Bryce Canyon is another national park. Geez, they must have used a lot of machines to excavate it out, but they didn't do a very neat job of it. With all the natural wildlife, it seemed disappointing that at Conexpo there were machines designed to get rid of it. After that shock and horror, you might feel that you need a drink. And there was a driver and machine able to carefully pour out a drink. And then serve it to you with no tip required. Well, that's quite some warning. As we carry on around the show, it's always nice to see some machines shoveling the dirt. Although this guy was struggling to pick up anything like a bucket load. At the Tadano stand, there was a really nice looking crane complete with a boom dolly. So let's have a quick look. So of course on models we always complain that these are plastic when we want metal but here we get a real crane and we're not metal. So we're in the TII shop and uh, Mammut have their display pieces here and I'm with Paul Gregoire of Mammut. Paul, you've got some new things to discuss today. What have you got on the shelf behind us? Yeah, we have four new models introducing on Conexpo. Here behind me there are two new ones. One's the AC250 developed by uh, IMC and especially for DMAC and we are the first uh, customers who also have the model in our colors. Next to it, there's the, the Ford set, made by uh, Swart models. And, yeah, we're very happy because uh, we're selling good. Typical uh, US, uh, USA models, so 
perfect to introduce in this exhibition. How many uh, of each will be made of? We made 1,000 pieces of the AC250 and 500 sets of the Ford, Ford sets. So Paul, you've got an interesting yeah. load hanging from a crane up here. What, can you tell us about that? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, very interesting. We were on a Bauma exhibition last year in München and we put a load like this in a crane just for showing the people that there's a load. A lot of customers asking for the load, can we buy it, if we buy the crane, can we also have the load included? So we thought, okay, that's a good idea. We already have some um, pieces of the spreader bar set. So we asked uh, Milo Weiss from Rice Brothers to make the, the load as well. And here it is, introducing on the Connexpo again. So it's very, very nice. And how many pieces of that? We produced 500 pieces of them. Okay, so we're now flying in low mode to have a look at this uh, rather impressive big model that Mamu have commissioned. Yeah, this is a scale model of a trailer we are developing right now together with Schöler. It's a new transport solution. Uh, you only need like one truck and then these power boosters, they're moving the trailers. Only 125 pieces are made, so it's a very limited scale model. But uh, reactions here on the exhibition are great, people really love it. Not only the model, but also the real solution we, uh, we provided as, uh, as Mammut to, uh, yeah, to have less uh, carbon footprint. So that's yeah, very nice. You have uh, a video, which is a kind of an animation, don't yeah, you, of the exactly. real truck on your website. Yeah. When, when does the real truck actually get made and do you think it will be seen? I cannot say for sure, but somewhere between now and three months, the real ones will be uh, ready for, uh, for testing. So. Yeah. yeah, so we might see one this year sometime? Yeah, this year. Yeah, this year we will see the, the real ones. Walking around the show there are many examples of large scale models. And on this one if you wanted you could spin it and see if any lip balm will come out. Well to be honest if you agree with this you need to take a long hard look at yourself in the mirror. Another way to look at yourself is to get a big model wheel loader and then fit some cameras to it. Although perhaps a better way is just to look at yourself in the mirror after all. Whilst in Las Vegas the Cranes Etc team were lucky enough to have a site visit. And this was to Project Neon which as you can imagine is a road project in Las Vegas. And in fact, it's the largest road project in Nevada. Costing about $900 million, it's designed to reduce congestion and improve traffic flows. The site work involves rebuilding bridges. And for anyone not from the US, it's always interesting to see a tully belt machine in use. In addition to structures, there's also the associated earthworks. And the contractor Kiwit was using a combination of Komatsu and Caterpillar equipment. Whilst on site it was also interesting to see the type of end tippers that were being used. The project has also got nice architectural decoration within the concrete panels. Kiwit had a big fleet of Ford F-150s on the job and maybe that would be a nice version for sword models to produce. Compared to the big machines on display at Conexpo there was also a nice mobile screener in use. What are you doing here? I've walked 324 feet and I'm taking a break. There was plenty of equipment on display from the field of concreting, including this big Mac concrete pump. There were also plenty of truck mixers on display, some of them with very nice paint jobs. Over at the Terex stand there was a truck mixer in the somewhat plain colours of Terex. But with the reintroduction of the DMAG crane brand, Conrad's big crawler crane model appeared in DMAG colours. Although it was hidden away, there was another new Conrad model on display, and it was a Terex rough terrain crane, making it the third rough terrain crane model that Conrad had on display at Con Expo. 
Just outside Las Vegas is one of the great civil engineering achievements of the last century, and that's the Hoover Dam. It's also great to visit because you can take a tour inside the dam, and you can see inside the powerhouse. There you can see this guy who looks like he's been walking around Con Expo all day. But more impressive is the inside of the powerhouse itself. There the generators are producing electricity, and that included this small generator which was producing electricity to power all of the dam facilities. You can also go on a walking tour inside the narrow galleries that are within the concrete dam. Another thing you can do adjacent to the Hoover Dam is to walk along the line of the old railway that was used to build the dam. This includes going through a number of the old railway tunnels and they can feel a little bit spooky, particularly when you've got aliens waiting at the end. But luckily on this occasion the alien is friendly and is known as Lily. Yes, it's true, you meet all sorts of people in Las Vegas. And there was also a rumour that Plonker models were going to produce something, and presumably this is the one-to-one -one machine they're going to be making a model of. But there's no doubt you can see some very impressive machines at Con Expo, and this giant Kenworth truck was one of the most impressive. You could just imagine driving yourself in it to the local supermarket when you need a loaf of bread. So, whatever way you look at it, Con Expo is full of many interesting things to see, and even some of the people there are nice. Of course, all shows must come to an end, and after five days, the cranes have to be packed away, and then Con Expo comes back again in three years' time. So Lily, it was, seems like it was just a couple of minutes ago that we were here arriving at McCowan Airport at Las Vegas. So what do we think of Con Expo 2017? It was great, but there was endless walking around and uh, we collected a lot of things that we didn't really want. So what sort of things did we, did we pick up? Well, we picked up enough USBs to start a USB Emporium. Um, maybe 396 baseball caps uh, and enough stress balls to last the next two badly packaged models. Yeah, it was a great show and we've got bags full of stuff that we can take home.